back to Bulls Deep Fishing. Hope everyone is having a wonderful, wonderful quarantine day. Um, we have been quarantined, I think, going on like two weeks now. Um, so I'm getting a little bit stir crazy. I need to go get on the water. And technically in Georgia, outdoor activities are still okay to go do. Um, but I am technically in the construction industry, so my job is essential. And so I'm still having to work um, just from home, which I usually work from home anyways. Um, so I'm still super busy right now. Actually, I'm very busy right now because with all the schools closing early and all the government offices and all this stuff closing, um, they're wanting all their work done now versus in the summertime. So it's been, it's been a little bit crazy to say, a little bit cray cray to say the least. But uh, today I kind of want to do a quick little video on how to... Um, not necessarily modify, but how to rig up a Starport HD onto a track system on a kayak or a boat, whatever it is. Um, you will need two different parts from Railblaze that you will need your Starport HD. And you will also need your track mount kit from um, Railblaze. So usually if you go and if you add this to your cart on Railblaze, scroll down the bottom and you're you'll have these pop up to as suggested things to buy because it because they marry together they kind of go together um but um so basically whenever you get your starport hd get out of the package and open it up um these are mainly already for hard mounting something or hard mounting this to a boat or a kayak um it has four holes or it has two holes on one end two holes on the other end and what i really like about the starport hd is that it's a flat surface um, and it's bulkier at the bottom and it gives a more sturdy platform to mount your accessories to. And that's why I'm switching everything out from the traditional Starports to the Starport HD because the HD stands for, I don't know what it stands for, but they're more sturdy to say the least. <laughs> um, but anyways, guys, so whenever you get your Starport HD, um, it's going to come with your hard mounting hardware in the back of it. But since we are not hard mounting this to the kayak, when I say hard mount, I mean drilling holes into your kayak or your boat, and then, you know, dropping a screw down it, a nut on the back, and actually hard mounting it to where it can't be removed or, or taken on and off of your kayak or your boat. Um, that's where your Starport, track, Starport HD track mount kit comes into play. Whenever you get your Starport HD track mount and open it up, it's going to come with Two bolts, two thumb screws, I'm gonna call them, and two and two washers and two flat mount, uh, two washers and two, then obviously your two flat mount T-bolt end. That's what I'm gonna call them because I don't know the technical term for them. Um, flat metal, that's what we're going with today. So you get two flat metals, two washers, two screws, two thumb, two thumb screws. Um, but before you are able to use the track mount kit on your Starport HD, you have to modify it. There is instructions in the um, in the back of the track mount kit and in the on the back of the Starport HD cardboard. Um, but the reason why you're probably asking why am I having to buy two separate things to make it one thing? Well, before track systems became really popular in in the kayak industry and even in the boat industry now um, everyone was hard mounting their stuff to like sitting kayaks and so on and so forth so you know they have to when the industry grows or something new comes out in the industry they have to adapt and overcome and hopefully modify something they already have in the industry where you're not having to make a new patent and and all that all that jam and all that gel that you just kind of don't want to mess with um but anyway, so you have to modify this. If you look on the back, uh, I guess I dropped a piece of flat metal. Um, but anyways, if you look on the back of your Starport HD, you will actually see six holes, three on one end and then three on the other end. Um, only two of the holes are drilled through, as you can see. There's only four holes drilled through. So what you have to do is you have to take a quarter inch drill bit and you have to stick it in the center hole and you have to drill it out. Um, I was initially drilling it out by hand, which you still can, but when you drill it out, holding it, you know, the drill in one hand and, and the HD in the other hand, it gets kind of wobbly and you don't have somewhat of a straight line. So what I do is, let me drop the camera down just a hair. What I do is I flip it over uh, where the starport side is actually pointing to the ground and I set that on the table so I can apply pressure and then I can apply pressure to the center hole of the starport HD. Lights up.
You just hammer it down right there. All right, once you have your hole completely drilled through, what I like to do is I like to go ahead and just clean out the hole a little bit right here. Clean it out on the back side, and then you flip it over and you clean it out on the front side. Nice and clean, clean, clean hole. All right, guys, and once you do that on one side, you basically just flip it over and do it on the other side. Um, and then once you, and I'm not gonna do it well, and you know what, I'll just go ahead and do it real quick. Since I'm gonna be mailing this, Clean it out on one end, clean it out on the other end. All right, guys, so once you have your Starport HD, let me flip the camera, or saw the camera back up just a little bit more. Um, once you have your Starport HD modified or your holes drilled in your Starport HD, you are going to open up your track mount kit, and you're going to get one of each item. Okay, don't try to get all of them at one time because then you just drop a piece and lose it, kick it around, and you can't find it no more. Then you got to buy another pack. Um, but anyway, so basically with your track mount kit, you're going to take your bolt, okay, and then you're going to take your thumb screw or plastic thumb, I'm calling a thumb screw, and you're going to slide your bolt through the thumb screw, okay, like so. Then you're going to take your washer. You technically do not have to use the washer, but the washer... And some tracks, you you know, you want the washer on there um, to give it just a little bit more height so your bolt is not hitting the bottom of the track. But another thing what I like is, is whenever you're taking them on and off and sliding them on and off, you know, your track, you don't want that bolt to keep dropping down so that washer actually holds that thumb screw on, on the bolt itself a little bit better. And that's, that's why I like it. On top of that, it adds a little bit more cushion in between the metal and the plastic so because you never want metal against plastic and plastic against metal and all that jazz so basically then you're going to take your starport hd okay you're going to drop your bolt through the center hole of your starport hd like so okay and you probably can't mm, yeah you can see that um and then you're going to take your flat metal or your t-bolt thing i guess we're going to go with that and you're going to screw it on there like so so with a lot of track systems, hold on, let me go ahead and get the other one squared away right there where I'm not losing none of my pieces. Again, bolt through, thumb screw, washer on the bolt, and then your flat metal. Drop it in your HD, hold it down, then screw your HD or your flat metal onto your bolt. Like so. As you can see, now it's a mobile track mount starport hd um, but with a lot of track systems is um with these other flat metals and you know it's not one whole t-bolt combined um you you know it gets kind of tricky trying to keep the the flat metal on the starport hd and then slide it in your track system especially with my kusa hd and my feel free lure whenever i'm using these side tracks to mount stuff on it wouldn't necessarily slide on there just right so basically what you have to do is to defeat that you have to take your flat metal off you have to slide your flat metal in the track system both flat metals in your track system first and then go on top of the track system and then screw it all down um, and then we will go over like so and we will go over and i will show you how it's rigged up on a kayak pretty nifty huh yeah you like that kind of moving kind of moving need some jams all right anyways guys let me get y'all squared away right here all right there we go you're a little bit crooked uh yeah we're gonna have to run with crookedness on this one all right there you're a little bit straighter all right guys as you see my starport hd is sitting flat onto my track system and there is no movement whatsoever in the starport hd and that's what i like because whenever i have my camera in there i don't want it flopping back and forth or anything like, anything like that because that's why I went with a Starport HD. And like I was saying earlier, a lot of these tracks, you can't necessarily slide this Starport HD completely out of the track because, you know, either the screws in the bottom of the track or the rivets or whatever your track is held to your boat with, they typically get in the way. So you have to um, unscrew your HD completely. Come on now. And then you have to slide your flat metal into the track system first and then lay your Starper HD right on top. Meet up the holes. Screw her back down. And I don't think my hole is matched up right here. Let me loosen that. 
kind of hard to do this. There we go. There we go, just like that. You tighten those puppies back down. And your Starport HD is back installed, guys. So that's pretty much it. Let me get y'all back in the shade. Back, back, back it up. Back, 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 back it up. go so all in all guys it's a very very simple install and it's actually worth it because if you're videoing or you know you have your fish finder and all this stuff there's not a lot of play which don't get me wrong i love and i still use my regular star ports it's just with that flat base of that eight star port hd and it's a little bit bulkier piece it is just so much more solid on my track system i know on other track systems you like with a new canoe on the dashboard, you wouldn't want to use a Starport HD because you want to use your traditional Starport because it fits that track system a little bit better. So depending on whatever kayak you have and whatever track system is on that kayak, you kind of need to fiddle around with it, play with it, see what's, which one's going to work the best. Um, but guys, another thing real quick before I, before I let y'all go here. Um, another cool thing about the Starport HD that I absolutely like a lot is the locking system on the HD versus the traditional Starport. All right, you see the gray? The grays are your locking systems. With the locking system on the Starport HD, it seems like it's a little bit more, you know, more power behind that locking system versus your locking system on your traditional, you know, Starport. It's, it works the same way, you know, slide it one way, locks it, slide it the other way, unlocks it. But it seems like, you know, with this bulkier, bulkier base, it just locks it in a whole lot more and it makes it a lot more solid. And I think a lot of it has to do with it with that flat base. So that's just food for thought as well, guys. But thank y'all so much for watching. I'm hoping within this quarantine time of my life, I will be able to produce more content for y'all and hopefully get on the water and, you know, actually, you know, do some fishing because I need some fishing. I need, I need that, that tug is my drug and I need it guys. But thank y'all so much for watching. Please like and subscribe to my channel if you don't mind. And please guys, please share this video across, across the world, across your quarantine social distancing networks. And, um, you know, share it with people because there is some people out there that might be looking for another track mount system and Railblazer has it, guys. So definitely, if you want any of these attachments, you can go to www.yakgear.com or www.railblazer.com. And you can find on either one of those websites because they are partner companies, you can find any of these attachments that I'm showing you today on those two websites. Get them into your cart and get them on your kayak as soon as possible because once this quarantine is done, we are going to bust out of it and we are going to go slay some bass. So get that boat ready, guys. Thank y'all so much for watching. I'll catch y'all later. Stay classy. Deuces!